Hello friends, this video on Amines part 15 is brought to you by examfa.com. No more PA from exam. Let's understand now physical properties of amine. We have now till now understood how to name the amines and how to prepare amines. Now let's understand the physical properties of amine. So if you see the lower ones, the lower amines, for example, CH3 and H2, right? C2H5 and H2. Methanamine, ethanamine, these are gases. The lower ones are gases. Three or more, they are either liquids or the higher ones are solids. So, so we have amines in the gas state, liquid state, and solid state, all three states, right? So below three, one or two, methanamine, ethanamine, these are all gases, and then we have liquids amines and we have solids amines too. Aniline which we know is this guy and other aryl amines they are generally colorless but they get colored due to atmospheric oxidation. Please note they are generally colorless but when this due to atmosphere oxidation they get some colors. And if we talk about the boiling point of these amines, the primary and secondary amines are engaged in intermolecular hydrogen bonding. But not the tertiary, because if you see this is my tertiary, and then these all are, there is no bonding actually. But, but if you see this is my primary amine, this hydrogen has slightly positive charge, this nitrogen has slightly negative charge, so there is a bond here. Right, so there has to be some hydrogen attached to this nitrogen. That means it has to be either primary amine with two hydrogen, secondary head amine with one hydrogen. Then only this hydrogen bonds come into picture. Right, so please note primary and secondary amine, primary with NH2 form or NH2, or secondary R2 NH form, each of these has hydrogen, they have intermolecular hydrogen bond. Correct. And with that, they have higher boiling point. And please note that this bond is more in primary amine. Why? Because there are two hydrogens to form bond. In secondary amine, one hydrogen to form bond. And in tertiary amine, no hydrogen to form a bond. Thus, primary amine will have higher boiling point. Why? Because the intramolecular force between them is most. Hope you understand. Two hydrogen bond, more two hydrogens, more hydrogen bond. One hydrogen, less hydrogen bond. Zero hydrogen, no hydrogen bond. Right? More the hydrogen bond, higher is the boiling point. See, tertiary amine, they don't have intermolecular attraction between them because there is no hydrogen atom available for bonding because it is all this form NR3. Since there is no hydrogen atom attached for attached to this nitrogen for bonding, so there is no hydrogen bond. So if you see the boiling point order, primary one has the highest boiling point. Why? Because they have two hydrogens attached to it and they have large extent of hydrogen bond. Secondary one has one hydrogen atom, atom attached to it, so they have less extent of hydrogen bond. Tertiary, no hydrogen attached to it, so it has almost no hydrogen bond, so the boiling point is less. More stronger the bond, more tightly coupled this particular compound is and more strongly coupled this compound is more is the boiling point because more energy is required to break them okay. correct so if they are united you need more energy to break them that means the boiling point is high you need more and more energy to heat them up and to boil them but if they are not united you can even by warming up you can segregate them correct Let us do a comparison of boiling point of these different compounds with the same or similar molecular mass. So if you see the one with OH has the maximum boiling point because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and OH difference is more than NH difference. OH always has stronger hydrogen bond. 
and this OH will always have stronger hydrogen bond. Since the hydrogen bond is stronger, they'll have higher volume. And then comes primary amine because it has two hydrogens to form bond. And then comes secondary amine, if you see, which has one hydrogen. And then comes a tertiary amine. At least there is some electronegative difference. And here, a normal alkyl. So, hope you understood why. Because OH, if it is OH here, or OH here, there is again ROH here. They form a stronger bond. The bond is stronger. Correct? Because oxygen is more electronegative. So generally, typically you will see alcohol will have maximum boiling point because alcohol has OH thing. The next is the solubility. See, the lower amines are water soluble because as I told, they have they form hydrogen bond with water molecule. So if I have, let's suppose CH3, NH2, and if I have water molecule here, slightly negative, slightly positive, so it will form a bond. Correct? It will form a bond. This is one more hydrowater molecule, let's suppose. It will form a bond. So there will be hydrogen bond actually, correct. So the lower ones are soluble because this part is water insoluble. But if we keep increasing this mass, right, so only this part will not be able to take, the NH2 part will not be able to take the load of this whole R part here, so this R. So in that case, the higher molecules are higher amines will become water insoluble, right. You see, the solubility decrease as you increase the molar mass because this part, the R part, is the hydrophobic alkyl part. Correct. So only this part is water soluble. So if this part is small, this part will take care of, the NH2 part will take care of this alkyl part, small alkyl part. But if this part is big, for example, you have something like this. Let's suppose you add more stuff here, you make it more bulkier something like this. So only this part is water soluble and this bulky part is not water soluble. So even if this part is water soluble, this part is not soluble. So the overall, it is not soluble. Correct. So as you go up, as you increase the molecular mass of this amines, it becomes less water soluble. We have seen similar kind of trend in the other chapters where we have talked about ketones, aldehydes, Similar pattern here also, right? So you see, higher amines are almost insoluble in water. But these amines are soluble in organic solvent, alcohol, ether, benzene. Correct? Why? Because alcohols are more polar than amines and form stronger intramolecular hydrogen bond than amines. So, these amines, the lower amines are soluble in water, the medium are sparingly soluble, the higher amines are water insoluble. Why? Because the water soluble part is NH2 part only or NH part depending on whether it is primary or secondary amine. And if you increase the alkyl part, the hydrophobic alkyl part, overall the compound becomes water insoluble. Let's talk about the smell of the amines. The lower aliphatic amines, they have fishy smell. They are gases and they have fishy smell. But the higher ones, they don't have strong water. They don't have strong water. They are okay kind. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.